Does the Riddler know Batman's alter ego in the movie, The Batman? We're going to talk spoilers for The Batman, so if you haven't seen it, we're going to tell you to get the heck off of here for now. We don't want to see you go, but you got to go, because if you don't want to be spoiled, do not watch along. This is Digital Charcuterie. Today, Rob McDonald's joining me. Hey, Rob. How's it going? It's going well. You just got back for your seven, from your 77th viewing of The Batman. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I I, I wanted to go the Ray Bork number for it. Yep. So I'm like, yeah, I, I, Ray Bork's a great uh, uh, NHL defenseman. So I figured, uh, yeah, that'd be a good time to. How many times have you seen it now? Uh, third time. Third time. Do you find is this a movie that gets is this a movie that gets better with age or or is it like uh, is it a rotten apple? Uh, no, it 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 it, uh, it definitely gets better. Like I don't know how much better it gets, but it just I. I it's very odd to talk about a movie that's as dark as this movie, but I enjoy watching this movie. We'll I'll just say that. Day, we'll have to talk one day about how dark it is. Cause I didn't find it dark at all, but we, I mean, it, it was dark, but it, uh, it's, it's probably the most optimistic Batman of them all. We'll talk about that another day, but let's get right into the Riddler because the Riddler is the, uh, somewhat the big bad of this movie. I don't know if he's the ultimate big bad. I'm not too sure. I would say that. I think there are other things that are bigger and badder within this film than the Riddler, but the Riddler is a point of contention. This is one thing I think the movie did very well was does the Riddler know Batman's identity or does he not know Bruce Wayne? We don't know how the Riddler is in regards to his knowledge of, of the Batman and who is underneath the cape and cowl. And for me, I have one view of this. You have another. So why don't you tell us how you feel about the Riddler uh, whether or not the Riddler knows the identity of the Batman Bruce Wayne. All right, so me first then. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, well, I, I, I could, yeah, I could talk you into it if you want. But <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Well, I, again, that's the one thing about watching it the three times. It was like the first time I wasn't too sure. I thought he might have still known what it was. Second time, I thought that uh, he uh, he. Uh, did not know what who he was and then by the third time i was like i'm pretty sure he does not know who he is and um yeah and, and that's the that's the way i mostly mostly sit on it and it's like it comes down to like breaking down the scene and in general uh, you know there's a lot of details like details within the scene that i think and 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 the overall uh character of the riddler that make you uh think that he definitely does not ho- know who he is at least that's that's the way i'm sitting on it Okay. Um, are there any like examples you have for why you don't think he knows who he is, or you just? Saying- well, I don't know. I, I I have a lot of examples. I just thought we would get into it uh, in a moment. But it's like, yeah, there's like, uh, you know, coming down to you know him saying Bruce Wayne and you know in that way all the time. And uh, um, geez, <laughs> I'm I, I, sorry, man. I'm I, I I've been thrown off like with the way that we 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 uh, discussed it. Okay. Yeah. I think that the Riddler does know who Bruce Wayne is. I've seen it one time. So my knowledge of the film is more superior than yours, obviously, because, <laughs> you know, the one version versus the three. So maybe it'll change. But I believe that he does know who Bruce Wayne is. Have you read the prequel book yet? I've not. No. Okay. And the prequel book, an event takes place. Plug your ears, Rob, where uh, the Riddler is uh, responsible for uh, the state of Wayne Manor within the movie that we see in this movie. That movie is a telltale sign for that. Uh, that scene in the movie is the is a strange scene all around where they kind of take Batman and Gordon away from the crime and he goes there and he just learns information. Why is he learning that information? That information is also relayed to us later on in the movie as well. So everything we learn there, we kind of also learn in other spots. That part, it kind of, it, it, you know, it fleshes it out a little bit more. That's where that scene lies. But while that's happening, the Riddler has sent a package to Bruce Wayne, with which is a, a bomb, of course, that he wants to blow up and kill Bruce Wayne. At that point in the movie, I don't know if the Riddler knows Bruce Wayne is Batman or not. I think he has an inkling that he is, but he's not 100% sure. And within that, there is also an envelope with the, the flame repellent packaging that says to the Batman, it says, I'll see you in hell, blah, blah, blah. That that moment, I think, is the is the key moment for the Riddler, where his belief in who Batman and Bruce Wayne are comes to fruition. Because Bruce, what, Bruce first of all, Bruce Wayne isn't really shouldn't even necessarily be a target because he has no real connection other than 
the sins of the father. He has no connection to what the Riddler's game plan is going on here. The Riddler sees himself as similar to the Batman. He, and just like Bruce Wayne, he is also an orphan. But I think in that moment when Bruce Wayne is supposed to be blown up and Bruce Wayne is not blown up, Bruce Wayne survives. When you go into the prison, the Riddler says, we got everyone but Bruce. We got everyone but Bruce. And there is a moment in that scene where Batman has that look in his eye. He looks over at the camera and he's like, oh, snap. He knows who I am. And then he quickly twists it. And he's like, oh, he doesn't know who I am. But that whole scene is played out in a way where I think he's alluding to the fact that he knows exactly who Bruce Wayne is. But much like, um, is it the Long Halloween or Hush, that comic? At the end of that comic, the Riddler knows who Batman is. Hush. But Batman's like, you, yeah, it's Hush. Yeah, you, but Batman's like, you can't, uh, you know, you can't say that riddle. Otherwise, it's not a riddle anymore. The answer to a riddler doesn't make it a riddler, whatever. So I just think that the whole, that the situation with Batman being lured to Wayne Manor separates him from Bruce Wayne. And when they're not separated, the Riddler's smart enough to know because the Riddler's not insane. Like everyone, people like to think the Riddler's insane, but the Riddler is actually not insane in this movie at all. He's imbalanced for one thing, but he's not insane. And he has his wits and his smarts about him. He understands and he can put these clues together and figure it out. And he can figure out all that other stuff that's going on in this movie. This is something that I think he can figure out. And I think he used the Bruce Wayne moment to decipher who he believed Bruce Wayne was. And when Bruce Wayne was away randomly and he, you know, cause Bruce Wayne and Batman are never in the same room at the same time at the church, at the, at, at the funeral earlier on, Batman doesn't show up to everybody's evacuated. It took him quite a little while to get there afterwards, right? Because because Bruce Wayne was there. Bruce Wayne had to leave. He had to get his bat suit on. So I think throughout the movie, the Riddler is piecing the putting the pieces of this puzzle together. And by the time we get to the prison cell, he knows who Batman is, but he never lets on that he knows who Batman is because now, no matter what happens, Edward Nashton, who may become Nigma he has this in his back pocket to continuously use on Bruce Wayne on the Batman. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it's interesting that, that, you, that you say it that way. And, you know, there's stuff obviously that you mentioned with the prequel book that I've not read, but when you break down, I think, I think the, 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 um, the answer to it all really breaks down in that scene in the prison. Because uh, when he's in when he's in that cell across from him, and you discuss the way when he's saying Bruce Wayne, right? Bruce and, uh, Wayne, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And it's like if you watch the scene and the way the way the way it's playing out, it's like Batman's very reserved at the beginning. He's just sitting there in the corner, just like not even looking at him because he looks, he sees the camera shooting at all, and you know, seemingly, assumingly, it's not on recording video; it's recording audio. So it's like. Anything he says in that moment, like, can can influence and make it clear that he is Bruce Wayne. So he's very he's very uh, reserved in that scene, and it's in that moment in which he says, you know, uh, Bruce Wayne, he's the only one that we didn't get. Right? Yeah. He says the one that we didn't get, and um, I think it really like that. That's the moment where I think B B Batman realizes that he doesn't know who he is, and from then on forward, he's a lot more proactive in that scene. Right? He's a lot more directly but confrontational in it. And and here's the other key key part of it, I think, because Riddler in that whole like I, I think up until that point in the movie, and and when it switches, he thinks Batman is for his plan. He thinks that Rid Rid uh, that Batman is all, all all in on his plan. Like that's where he's like, you know, uh, uh, I, I I you know we worked together. We were such a good team. You brought him into the light. I I I, I took him out. He's like, I couldn't do that. I I my my strength is up here. It's not about it's not about that stuff. And then it's when. R Riddler really has that, you know, like sort of like a hissy fit where, where Batman's just like, you're, you're insane and what like that. It's like, no, no, this is not the way it was supposed to go. And like in that moment, it seems like that's the moment where things turn on him. And he, he's like, he's like, okay, we're not, a, we're, we're not a team. He's, he's my, you're, you're my foe. And you know, we're the last ri riddle that he gives to Batman. What's black and blue and dead all over you. Right. And um, I, I, I do think like, you know, considering the fact if he had, I understand you said that, you know, he might not have known, like, you know, when he sent the bomb over to him, that he was Bruce Wayne for sure. But, you know, 
he did send that there. And I think he was, he's Bruce Wayne is undeniable target of his because yeah, yeah, I know you, you said that he doesn't do anything directly, but you know, sins of the father, he couldn't punish Thomas Wayne. So he's going to punish Bruce Wayne. And I feel like if he actually knew that he was Batman, that act would turn him against him. And if he, even if he thought that he knew that he was Batman, that doing that act and, you know, uh, attacking the place where he calls home is not a way to keep him on his side. Maybe, but it was a way to flesh out whether or not he is is the Batman. That's like the the way he got him. Like the Riddler, uh, the Riddler's riddles always drive Gordon and Batman to the scene of the crime, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. But this riddle, there's no crime. There's no scene of a crime. At the, I mean, Wayne Manor is a crime, but it's not a Riddler crime, which is where he always sends them. He always has them on the path to solve the Riddler's crimes. And there he he didn't necessarily it would have sent them to Wayne Tower. On the other hand, the only thing you, you really did there was get Bruce Batman out of Wayne Tower and go away from where the bomb was said to be set off. And again, in the prison scene, there's that moment, that switch moment where, oh, he knows who I am. Oh, no, he doesn't know who I am. Batman lets his guard up a little bit. And then the Riddler taunts him by saying Bruce Wayne several times. Like He, every well, he, time he, he, says, he, he said that every time before. before yeah, I think he, say, he says that. I, 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 when I watch it, he said it to, he's taunting him. He's taunting him. He's never letting on what he knows, but he's taunting him and he's taunting him and he's taunting him. And I think he's got that in the back pocket for, for films to come, Bruce Way. <laughs> no, I, I, I think, I think that's a scenario where in which, uh, and I think this movie does it so brilliantly, is that um, Matt Reeves is the script is always almost smarter than you the whole time, and I think the reason that's that's in there specifically in the way that it is is because he's he's uh, he's making you think that he does know until the the, the part switches. Yeah, maybe, think, or maybe, I, I see, I think the opposite. I think he's making you think he does know, and then he wants you, and then they're leading you on, but he still does know, and it's all taunting from this maniacal Riddler that they have. But yeah, you're right. The script is, the script is, it's a, such a fun script because the Riddler always, like, the Batman has to be one step above the cops, and the Riddler has to be one step above the Batman, and then the script has to be one step above the Riddler, and so everything has to, like, know, you have to kind of know the path that all of those characters are on. So I, I'm you're absolutely right. And I think the fascinating thing with the scene is, is you are on one side of the fence and I'm on the other side of the fence and it doesn't let, and it doesn't answer the question unconditionally. It's just like, it's still up for interpretation and it could be debated for, for time and time to come. Um, so I, I don't, I don't know, man. I think. I think I like the, I, uh, to me, I think the fact that he is a Bruce Wayne is a direct target of him. And the fact that, you know, he wants he wants to get Bruce Wayne, but you if know, he does want to get Bruce Wayne, that's the thing. I'm not sure he wants to get Bruce Wayne. I think he wants to flesh out who the Batman is, and he thinks the bat. And if it takes getting rid of Bruce Wayne to find out who the Batman is, that's what I that's what I think that scene is all about. It's figuring out are does he have does he have the answers to this puzzle of who the Batman is correct? And once that bomb goes off, and Bruce Wayne is MIA, I think that's when he says, "Okay, I'm on to something." And then I even think. When there's that moment where he kind of admits that he knows who Bruce Wayne is, and then Batman kind of gives it, he's like, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reel it in a bit now. I've, I've let off too much. I'm letting him know too much about where I stand on this topic. I gotta reel it in so he thinks that I don't know, and then I can get more out of him." So I think he's baiting Bruce Wayne, Batman, the entire time because I think Bruce Wayne. I think he know when he, every time he says Bruce Wayne, he's trying to get under Batman's skin. Perhaps, perhaps, but uh, I, again, I think that you know. Considering the fact that I I don't remember the exact line, but he actually says at one point that he's just like, people want to know who you are, but it doesn't matter who you are. Like he he more or less says that in that scene. It doesn't matter who you are. It's 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 about what you stand for, and like that's the whole part about it. It's like you know the whole movie. He he he's Batman stands for vengeance, and it's like that's the thing that Riddler really yes. stands for, and the and his minions make that entirely clear by the end of the movie as well. And that that's the part of the script is that Batman stands for the wrong like he learns through the bad guys that he's standing for the wrong thing and he needs to change his ways and light a flare 
Hope, baby, hope. Let it burn. I, I can't wait to see the movie again. You're going to go see it 400 more times. Um, you have time to kill. And <laughs> three hours is enough time time to kill. Have you caught any little things here and there, like, throughout the screenings? Or is it all pretty much just laid out in front of you? I, I mean, the stuff that I'm constantly looking for, and especially yesterday I was looking for, just stuff in the background, like, you know, mm. all the stuff with, you know, the uh, uh, Martha and the Arkham's and like all those all those headlines that are constantly throughout it, especially with Elliot's and and stuff like that. I'm always I, I was that's a lot of the stuff that I'm constantly looking for. And um, yeah, like you know, there's a lot of hints as to what the next villain could be, especially with with that one. But also, it could be uh, someone else entirely. Yes, it could. All right, this Riddler debate is going to go on for decades to come. <laughs> we'll come back to it. We'll keep talking about it. It's fun, though. It's like, you're right. I'm right. Who cares? It's just a fun time. Good thing. But what do you guys think? Is Does the Riddler know Bruce Wayne's alter ego? Batman, in this movie, is Batman's alter ego. Like, Batman is the character. Bruce Wayne is mm. is the, uh, the mask. So let us know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think the Riddler knows his identity? Or are you with a Rob and you think, uh-uh-uh, didn't say the magic word. He does not know. Or will we find <laughs> out in the sequel? Thanks for joining me, Rob. Let everybody know where they can find you. Uh, you can find me at Robert E. McDonald uh, on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, yeah, uh, you, you, we threw it out last time. If you do want to follow me on Letterboxd, I am at uh, Nightwing with a six instead of a G over there. Check him out on Letterboxd. Thanks, guys, for watching. It means a lot. Give us a like, a subscribe. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.